Take that baby to the hospital. Who knows if that cult was giving her prenatal vitamins. Hey loves, I hope you've been well. For you it's been a week. For me it's been the length of time to snatch this hair off my neck. I am super excited for the second film in tonight's double feature because even though I just left Haddonfield literally days ago, I am really excited to go back and figure out what's gonna happen with the end of this saga. I mean, we are at the last film of this iteration of the timeline. I am a bit distraught with what we had to go through in film number five. I'm not gonna lie. Y'all know this. I don't like to see the children being tortured. It's unnecessary. Okay, that's a child. Somebody please protect the child. But Jamie is alive and deeply traumatized and in full awareness of the fact that Michael is still hot on her tail. There's also a lone desperado. We don't know what he's doing. So yeah, we're gonna find out. Also, there was a little debate because apparently there are two versions of this film. There's the theatrical cut. There's the producer's cut, which I guess is unrated, at least on streaming, it's unrated. I mean, I'm gonna watch the producer's cut because one, it's the one that came up here when I looked up the movie. And two, because um, a little extra, y'all know I don't mind a little extra, even though normally I would go for what everybody else experienced the first time because I wanna know how it really was. But you know what? I'm gonna do this producer's cut because y'all have asked for it. At least a number of you have asked for it. So yeah, this movie came out in 1995. I'm a little scared, but I'm excited to see how we're gonna wrap this up. Mostly I'm excited because I know next is H2O. What is this agony? Introducing Paul Rudd? <laughs> wow. Surprise. Why, why are you being wheeled into a temple? What is happening? Where are you? Are your wrists down? Please, please give it to me. Oh. oh, this is so fucked up. Sir, reveal yourself. Who are you? Please. What? You're just giving the baby over? Please give it to me. This White Walker is just gonna take the baby? He stabbed his sister to death. Yeah, we remember. For years he was locked up. They are ritualing but he escaped. on the bebe. And suddenly, Halloween was another word for mayhem. He needed to wipe out his entire family. What are you about to do? Please. You were abducted on top of everything else. Ugh. This cult is creepy as shit. It's reminding me of Nightmare on Elm Street. Girl, don't talk about it. Be about it. You need to save the baby, yeah. Oh, this nurse is gonna get slashed for sure. And she was doing a good deed. Ugh. I'm sorry to be there. Michael, what the hell? Good gracious. Ugh. Big and mean. Nothing's changed. Oh my goodness. The baby is freaking out, and rightfully so. This child in the rain. Wow, Michael is speedy as hell when he wants to be. How long ago did she give birth? It was this night, and she is running through the rain and the muck like this. Oh God, fallen. Sir, please help us get killed at our place. Sorry. Oh, I'm. I have to. I must. Either get in or die. Oh my. 
Girl, why would you just sit there and watch him die? You could at least just drove off, not had to witness that. Oh. What the hell? Voice of a demon. I saw him too bad. He says things, bad things. Like what? The child is gonna look deranged. It's Andy all over again. Stay away, monsters. Stay away, ghouls. Stay away from Danny. You jerks know the rules. Girl, could I sleep with you? I could not possibly be expected to stay in that room after I heard that voice. Kill for him. Oh my god, girl. I hope you have a son in the morning. Coming to you live from high atop the Pierce Tower. Damn symbol. Tomorrow night we will be coming to you from the Hatfield, the town that has banned Halloween since 1989. I know that's right. <laughs> Michael Myers, Jamie Lloyd, and about a dozen cops were killed in an explosion. They, have a they believe Jamie was killed. That was Jamie. That was grown Jamie. Y'all. Like y'all, I did not process that that was Jamie. Jamie Lloyd, Jamie. They have been keeping her in that cult for that long. Who fathered the child? Oh, oh this one is sick. Oh, that's so upsetting. Oh, okay. Oh, what the fuck? Paul, are you peeping, Paul? I know your ass ain't looking at the stars in this rain. That's a camera. My name's Tommy. I was only eight years old when I saw him. As he do. Oh, she doesn't seem like. How old would she be? 15? <laughs> what is this radio show? I'm over it. That was so dumb. Begging for death. I'm very much a quack. Did you ever make amends? No, you couldn't have, could you? Because Jamie's been captive. You look good, Sam. Yeah, I feel great. Uh, skin grafts. Oh. It costs a fortune. Well, don't tell me that the revered Rasputin of Smith Grove is... <laughs> Rasputin? That was your energy in the fifth film, honestly, Dr. Loomis. Very much. Das Vidanya. I've come to celebrate. She just does not look 15. That's why I just could not even process it. And who is the father of this baby? And like, has Michael been there the whole time, like acting as muscle? Like, oh. hardy, hard, hard dummies. You gonna rue the day? Don't worry. Guess who is finally relinquishing his duties as chief administrator of Smith Grove? I wish you well. To old friends. Mm. To new beginnings. Everybody moved on while Jamie was rotting underground. Then I want you to come back to Smith Grove. Things are different now. I'm different. I've buried the ghost. I don't want to practice medicine anymore. I agree you're unfit too. But I'm glad you've reached some sort of healing. Michael Myers. Oh girl, you called the radio show. <laughs> Girl, if Dr. Loomis is listening, then Michael could be too. Or that desperado cult leader. Ugh. Get that bloody symbol off his torso. I don't want you wearing this marking in any way. Of course, he cannot resist a stalking. Michael didn't get no skin grafts. Yeah, definitely cannot fight that thing. Cannot do it. <laughs> she has kind of a Winona Ryder thing. Girl, they definitely want that baby for something. It's part of their cultish witchery. 
right into the pumpkin patch i mean yeah you would have never learned to drive since you've been underground since you were nine years old it's just so dark it's such a dark story for her god and to think that's lori's baby You just leave the baby in the car. <gasps> oh. Just so incredibly bleak. Michael, what do you want with the baby? You were gonna ax the children? I mean, yeah, the antics are not cute, but threatening to kill in Haddonfield. <laughs> Haven't we been through enough? Very much the feeling of the first one. You'd know she died because of that explosion, you know? That's mm -hmm. what someone would like us to believe. But I tell you, Michael is alive. I can feel his evil heart. <laughs> Soul ties. <laughs> I can't go through this again. Not alone. I need your help to stop him. He is very old. Emotional man. Been through hell. Dr. Wynn, I, I didn't expect you in this morning. Here, Dr. Lewis, anything he needs. Records of every treatment we've ever administered to Michael Myers. Michael Myers? Mm. You heard this right, girl. Wrong. That girl, Jamie Lloyd, her body was found this morning near Haddonfield. What a painful life she lived. And then to die like that. Way. And do what Yo, to him? What's up? Barry's my homeboy from Chicago. Look, you just bring a posse tonight, and we'll hook you up. <laughs> Doesn't Danny look cute dressed up as his uncle Tim? Now I've got a six-year-old gang member for a son. Perfect. Oh. Kippy G. Shit, it's showed them. John, they were just kids. Kids, my dear Deborah, what's ruining this country? <laughs> Everywhere you go, it's the same damn thing. This oh, is what's wrong. Back. Kids who are That's treated well, kids. loved, and given space, and the ability to grow. They don't grow Cognitive into therapy. <laughs> disorders. What are they teaching you in college these days? The art of going crazy? It's called psychology, Mom. Living in this house is enough to drive anyone crazy. Oh. Who the hell asked you to come back here in the first place? Wow, can you relax? Obviously, she it's has a, a son to take care of. Family for five years, then comes back and expects us to roll out the red carpet. Oh. You think going to college is going to make a few mistakes, girl? Please. They offer, Dad. The way you speak to her is ridiculous. Good, Annie. Yeah, he's insufferable. Why would you speak but, to me like that in front of my son? Yeah, just keep slipping her the cash. You know, while you're at it, I got a great idea. Here, let's give her all of our doctors. <gasps> what? Alone. That shit was yeah. disgusting. <laughs> I know you didn't just hit me in the face with money. Before you came around, everything was going fine. You and that little <gasps> bastard. Even. Oh, how fucking dare you. Girl, you better fight him. I see only one bastard in this house. Yeah, he really is disgusting. <gasps> Get away from her. Wow. Oh my God, and Danny's being seduced by the devil. So help me God. Her fucking face is bleeding. Oh my god. What's fucked up is that he's not wrong. <laughs> That's sick. Look at the position you put this child in. I mean, yes, he's being seduced by a demon, but also you smacked his mama in her fucking face. Oh my god. Oh god. Another episode of Father Knows Best. Oh, so that's how he is. That's how he's been. Really? Danny, you know that didn't really hurt me, right? Right. That's not what you need to teach him at all. Like, I know you're trying to soften the blow, but girl, hell no. Don't teach your child that you getting hit in the fucking face till you bleed is not really hurting you. Just can't live with her anymore, Deborah. <sighs> well, hopefully Michael will show up and kill your ass. It's not about Kara, it's about you. He's always staring at his window. That's not I caught him watching me. That must be Tommy. On a weirdness scale of one to ten, he rates about a 13. He's harmless though. Happy Halloween, Mrs. Blankenship! Best part about living in that boarding house is that crazy old lady wouldn't hear a truck drive through her living room. Michael Myers. <sighs> You're obsessed, Paul. Please help. May I have your attention, please? Can I help you, sir? Can you tell me if a bus arrived from Pontiac last night? Sure did. <laughs> you are such a creep. Did you go from 
this to Clueless? <laughs> Ew, you're gonna touch it? You can tell it's blood. What are you gonna smell it? Taste it? What can you gain from touching the blood? Oh my god, that's where she stashed the baby. God. Oh. Take that baby to the hospital. Who knows if that cult was giving her prenatal vitamins? Yeah, gruesome. It's been quiet here for six years, and that's the way it's gonna stay. What do you mean? You already have a dead body. I suppose it was a ghost that did all this. That's a ghost being carried out here right now. Yeah, y'all's insistence on living in denial, sick. Get over that it might not be happening. Like, it's happening. Okay. Every time it happens, y'all just need to go ahead and get with it. All this yipping and yapping and back and forth is always costing us bodies. Quite an imagination. He's been having nightmares. I think it's cool. Cool? Cool that that's what your nephew is dreaming about? Hey. Get a grip. Seems to be the problem. Uh, it's my baby. It's, there's been an my accident. baby. So give me a doctor now. You need to stop that. <laughs> Say, uh, there's nothing you can do for her now. Dr. Loomis? Oh my yeah. goodness. Thank God you're here. You heard her last night, didn't you? It was Jamie. I don't know you, do I? Tommy. Tommy Doyle. Oh my something. God, you're that Tommy? Tommy Doyle. <laughs> Dr. Loomis, I'm just now getting it too. I'm slow tonight. <laughs> She's not the last. There's a family, relatives of the people who adopted Lori, the Strodes, the living in the Myers house. Oh, okay, so that's the connection. It's just a theory of mine. I didn't realize they were relatives. See, you shouldn't have come in there cussing people out. You're gonna just leave with her baby, Tommy. Tommy, that baby needs to see a doctor. You have no right, love. I'm sorry I didn't recognize you, but I was distracted by the Ant Man of it all. Girl, you need to keep that axe handy. If not for Michael, for your husband. Because he's going to need killing at some point. Great. <sighs> Damn. If it ain't one thing, it's another. What? Lemus, you should know better than to sneak up on people like this. He does seem like he's in a much better place. Maybe he's equipped to actually help. I cannot believe you knocked this baby, Thomas. Okay, Stephen. You like that name? You can't just name the baby. I won't let anything happen to you. Sweetie, you grew up creepy, but it is sweet. This force came from a source too violent, too deadly for you to imagine. It grew inside him. And gave him invincibility. Doesn't feel pain. Doesn't die, doesn't die, doesn't die. He has all his memories here. I beg of you, don't let your family suffer the same fate. Jamie, I, I, I thought that She's been found. Is she not dead? Michael Myers has come back to Haddonfield. Girl, no time to say hello, goodbye. <laughs> you are late. Get the fuck out of there. Something terrible has happened. Leave him. A man came by the he house. won't believe you anyway. He's already in home. What the hell are you doing talking to strangers? Lenny's been around. John, they found oh, Jamie God. this morning. Someone tried to kill her. You want to stop watching those damn TV talk shows? Oh my I'm God. See, just downplaying your fears, not giving a fuck. Good girl. Right now, do it now. John, I want you to come with us. Fuck him. You've lost it, though. You know that, Deborah? You've just lost it. The reason you moved us into this house, your brother could never sell it because of what happened here, could he? Yeah, I don't know why he even redid it. You should have just us, John. vanquished it. You knew. The axe is gone. 
Girl, you are so ready to be scared. Flea, go out the door. Nobody's home right now anyway. You don't need your shit. Hello. Oh my god. Oh my god, tag teaming. The cult makes demands, and Michael is the muscle. Oh, Velma, please! Janky's bitch. Ugh. That's terrible. She didn't deserve it. It should have been the husband. Oh, just like Tommy walking home with his pumpkin. Oh, Tommy. Deja vu much? Take this kid. You love to nap a baby. <laughs> Definitely take this one. so bad for her. She reminds me of Miss Honey from Matilda. Why does Michael love to clean the scene at times? He gonna set up a rude surprise. Mom? The whole bloodline just traumatized one after another. It's terrible. Danny? Thank goodness Danny was kidnapped. And you brought the baby. I mean, yeah, who else is gonna take care of the baby? Where was the baby when you were out kidnapping Danny? I'm your neighbor from across the street, Tommy Doyle. What are you doing with my son? But Tommy's my new friend. He knows all about dinosaurs. A stranger man along with you? Who's this baby? <laughs> Tommy, you're not wrong, but your approach is super creep, babe. Super creep. <laughs> you did suffer quite a trauma as a child. And then the rest of your life, you're being met with naysayers. Uh, you don't really expect us to stay here. I want you to watch your house, see everything from that window. Who am I supposed to be looking for? Him. <sighs> the devil, the demon, Uncle Boogeyman. Okay, Steven. <laughs> the fact that he christened this baby Steven. <gasps> Mommy? He's arrived. Hello? Not now, Danny. Oh my god, this is exactly what happened to Tommy. He was like, I see the demon. He tried to tell Lori. Truly terrifying. She has so much trauma. <sighs> and this flower crown! <sighs> this little lace number. It's just too much. And Michael at the foot of the whole thing. Forgive you for what? What? <gasps> so she is dead? What the? Oh my god. Yeah, I mean, they could not have beat the shit out of this character anymore. That's just ridiculous. About 500 BC. They were symbols carved out of stone used in pagan rituals to invoke magic. From all the runes, Thorn, the most negative influence. Among the ancient druids, Thorn represented a demon. So this is where Season of the Witch comes in. Each tribe chosen to be inflicted with the curse of Thorn. To offer the blood sacrifices of its next of kin on the night of Samhain. The sacrifice oh. of one family meant sparing the lives of an entire tribe. Why are you so concerned about us? In his mind, anyone living in his house is his family. And y'all share so history. Place, there must be some reason. But the thorn symbol is actually a constellation of stars that appears from time to time on Halloween night. But where did Michael inherit this Every mythology? I've traced it back to 1963 when Michael murdered his sister Judith. Then the next time was in 1978. What happened a decade later and a year after that, he kills again. Now Jamie says Michael is back. For the first time in six years, Thorn reappears. So Michael is the child of Thorn? What would happen if he succeeded? If he killed the last member of his family? And Michael's power would end. Then the curse would be passed on to another child. Uh -uh. I think that's why these people, whoever they are, are after Jamie's baby. Uh, where are you going? This is also fucked. Find the only man who can stop him. Where's Danny? Girl. In all fairness, I forgot about Danny too. We're getting a lot of information. Danny, don't ever walk off without telling me where you're going. Wait till I get back. Don't go back to your house. 
You meant to say that? I estimate she gave birth no more than 24 hours ago. Crazy. The question is, where's the baby? <laughs> Creepin' boo. why we celebrate Halloween? Long, long time ago, it was a night of great power. Are you a witch, Miss Blankenship? Sure, and they dressed up in costumes to ward off evil spirits, especially the boogeyman. Come on, Danny. He hears the voice, you know. Who? Oh, Just you know that. the other boy that lived in that house. Oh my god. Michael heard a voice? It told him to kill his family. <laughs> Larkin. Hello. Hello. Everything's a party for y'all. <laughs> this thing is atrocious. Whoa. If only you had died before you passed the door frame. Come out, come out. I can't believe she didn't even get the satisfaction of seeing you die first. She actually left. I wish. Well, at least I'll get to see your death. Damn Skippy. Yeah, damn Skippy. Yeah, you down here wading in the water and you are about to get killed. Is her body in that machine? Oh, it sounds fleshy in there. No! I don't want to look. I do not want to look. Okay, I see it's bloody. Don't pull anything out. Oh! You deserve it. An electrocution? Of course Michael feels nothing. <laughs> It's charging him up like a battery. Energy efficiency yeah, is key. Yeah, yeah. What we're saying here is we will no longer let the powers that be control our minds. Halloween has represented everything that's wrong with Hadfield. Mm. Michael Myers is long gone. Loud and wrong. We have to stop acting out of fear. Just look at Tim's family. They live in the Myers house. I'm part of your house here. Yeah. Uh, my folks are good. I'll meet you there. Where's the goddamn thing? I'm taking this show to the real Myers town where we should have done the first place. It's <laughs> my house and I'll have every fruitcake medium in the country calling and trying to channel the spirit of that pussy Michael Myers. Really? And you want to talk shit? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you get. Yeah, I earned it. Ooh, old fashioned a stabbing. Do you know if Barry's going to show up? Let's hope not. What you said before about Michael Myers living in our house, is that really true? He stood in the shadows watching as his sister and her boyfriend made love. <laughs> and y'all are just inside, repeating it. Picked up a huge butcher knife. <sighs> you wanted a reenactment. Raised the knife, stabbed her. <sighs> Cut it out, Beth. I really didn't know that Michael Myers lived in my house, okay? Wow, honey, sorry. Me out. It should. You should flee. I'm Do sorry. it now. Just go. I was just fooling around. There's truth in parody. Y'all need to leave. I can't believe you didn't leave a note for the other family members that they should not stay there. <laughs> um, what are you singing, little creepo? <gasps> you are such a creepy little girl. What the hell? Girl, Ew, whose body is it? Oh, <laughs> Barry. <laughs> Sorry you had to see that, Tommy. It's happening. Sure is. I gotta take a shower. You gotta stay fresh. It is nice to die clean. Watch out for the boogie man. Terrible water pressure. Hey Beth, can you bring a towel in here? I'm freezing. Oh. Is Michael the towel girl? <laughs> Quite the body count this film, Michael. Oh my god, you're letting Michael know exactly where you are. What are you doing there? You know where my mother is? She's not home, no one is. Is Tim with you? He's in the shower. Deceased. I'm across the street. Get Tim and get out of that house. What the hell is going on? Oh. He's right behind you. Oh. You're watching the death. Girl, if you can see him, he can see you. Danny, what the hell? You are so bad at watching you, son. 
Oh, he was possessed. So is that what took Jamie also and made her stab her foster mama? It was the voice of Thorn. Yeah, walk into the room, weapon first. But damn, Danny. Oh my God. Do you see that dark inspector gadget behind you? To cover her up in this damn quilt. Girl, follow the blues clues. You saw her get stabbed. You do not need to see the body. Why would you? Do you think Danny is in there? Like Cause he's not. You just subjected yourself to that for nothing. Girl, be careful. Look how he's looking behind you. or not? Is that just a hat on a rack? It really looked like it was the thorn. I'm, I'm, I'm confused. Is there someone there? You let Danny run right by. It's a pincer move. They're getting you on both sides. Your mother. Ugh, he loves that. Ugh. Oh God. Okay, girl. Okay, girl. Some fight. That will not take Michael down, but fight is key to getting away. All the while, the baby is just unattended. <laughs> For all we know, the infant has picked up a butcher knife and started stabbing Miss Blankenship. Danny, stop fucking around. What are you doing? Are you under possession right now? Damn! Get you and Michael's gonna pop up and snatch us both at the same time, boy. Oh my God, girl. Why would you put your ankle right there? <gasps> exactly. <sighs> Ugh, you fell like Lori. Start hitting. Okay. Now your ankle is wonky. You dropped your weapon just like Lori. The baby. The baby? Oh my God, the baby is stabbing Miss Blankenship. <laughs> Just like Lori. <laughs> she was like, Tommy, come get the door. Tommy, come get the door. <sighs> Thank you again. <laughs> Where's the baby? It's gone. Take it. Who knew? Nobody knew it except me. Come to me. Can y'all hear the voice now? Okay, so we all hear it. Thank you. Thank you. You're already on the lap like a Santa Claus. No. What? Dr. Loom, has he lured you back here? For what? Win. Sick bitch. Are you in on it? Oh! Okay, so it was Miss Blankenship that was stabbing the baby. Wow. <laughs> She's Sally in Texas Chainsaw. She said, I'm getting out no matter what. So both the children are taken. And you have been dressed for sacrifice from the looks of it. Miss Honey. So magic will save us. By these runes, the energies could cancel themselves out. The evil could be destroyed. Don't go anywhere until I come back. Dr. Loomis. Not as springy as you used to be. time, Dr. Loomis, to join us. <laughs> no, child. After Jamie escaped last night, I knew she would come to you, and I knew that you would lead us to her baby. <sighs> her very special baby. It's your destiny. You're so sick. You are a madman. <laughs> Facts. A monster. A villain. A cosplayer who has cost us a lot of lives. Didn't Dr. Loomis tell you to stay put? Look at you now. Lord. Madness everywhere. It's a sign that we must restore a balance to the natural order of things. Very season of the witch. <laughs> Sick and twisted. That is its guardian. I protect Michael. Watch over him. Wow. Now it's time for another. <sighs> now it's time for you. I thought Michael was a monster. I mean, obviously it was more than that. <laughs> he was in that subtle. 
You were just following the figure all by your lonesome. Oh, that's black as shit, you nasty bitch. Witness this ritual. Bear our gifts to Thorn. Who fathered that child? Open us to the path of darkness on the chosen one. Sacrifice. <laughs> You're just gonna dawn the get up. Benny, your journey begins. Deal for him. <sighs> Insane. Michael, your final sacrifice. And then what happens to Michael? You can make him stop it. You know whose baby it is, don't you? Michael! The baby is yours, isn't it? Ew, I was worried that was... Back off! Join us with that talent. <laughs> That'll teach y'all to leave extra robes laying around. Um, not quick enough to beat Michael. <laughs> Dr. Lewis needs to wake up at that office. Oh, you just gonna toss some runes? Tommy, are you sacrificing yourself? Tell me, what are you doing? Oh, Dr. Luma said, I'm no Dewey. I am going with the escape route. <laughs> and Tommy is left here to deal with this on his own? Uh, did you control him with the rune? Lord of mercy, child. What have they done to you? Ruined his ass up. Oh, but just for a minute. Where do we go now? As far away from Hatfield as possible. Come with us. No, I, I have a little business to attend. <sighs> he said, I gotta shut this shit down once and for all. There could be no more questions. Oh, just laying there like a dead thing. What? Gone. Michael put his mask on you and laid you out? What? What the fuck did you do to me? How did you pass that on to me? Uh, 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 uh. Michael stole your look? It's so convoluted. Does that mean you control him, Dr. Loomis? Um, <laughs> what an end to that saga. I'm not even fully sure I know what happened. <laughs> like, Michael is the father of his niece's baby. That is so disgusting, y'all. Like, what a twisted legacy. Actually fucked. Wow, okay. On the one hand, I'm like, okay, it does make sense that Michael was being controlled by magical forces because that bitch would not go down no matter what. So it's interesting that they kind of tied in some of this ideology from Season of the Witch into this larger Michael Myers saga. That being said, even though that film was fun to watch, I... <laughs> I just, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, in all honesty, I was too tired. I'm gonna go ahead and say that now. I think I should have watched this when I was fresher because I was even so slow to be putting this plot together. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, but talk to me about the movie because I need some clarification. <laughs> how upsetting. Um, I'm glad that that is over. <laughs> that's the note they want to leave it on. I'm glad that that saga is over. I'm excited to get to H2O and erase these films from my memory even though I had a lot of fun watching them. Like all of the Halloweens are a good time. I understand why a lot of people have issue with this movie. Like it is quite a journey. It's quite a, a direction that things ended up going in but I did like the redemption of Dr. Loomis. At least he got some kind of character arc that involved him making amends for how outrageous he had become um, when he was so obsessed with getting Michael. But for it to end with him permanently linked to the pool, I mean, twisted. That's so sick. I feel so bad for Dr. Loomis. Like, wow, y'all, yeah, we're gonna need to talk about this movie. Can't wait to hear what y'all have to say. Also, next week we will not have a movie. There will not be a video because I will be resting. Rest is key, y'all. And I hope that y'all get some rest too and enjoy yourselves. Be well. And um, talk to me in the comments. And I will see y'all soon.